What's up guys, Liam here and welcome back to LSJ TV. Today's video you will see by the title is a very much anticipated, very much requested and um, just a video that I've not had a chance to film and I've wanted to for ages. Um, and that is a full day of eating. So I'm going to be taking you through breakfast, lunch and dinner, three meals, which is generally speaking how I split my things, a couple of snacks in between and we are good. Let's do this. So we are going to start off with 60 grams of oats. Everyone always asks me how I cook my oats because I always manage to get so much volume out of them and they don't believe that I only use 60 grams. So I'm going to show you just how much you can get out of 60 grams, right? I would usually cook it on the hob as well. However, I'm not doing that today because I figured I'm filming a video. I'm going to try something completely different and go to the other side, you know? I'm definitely a cook your oats on the hob kind of guy rather than in the microwave. Um, but, you know, let me, let me know your thoughts on that in, in the comment section. It's very controversial. So, once I've got my 60 grams of oats, what I tend to do is literally fill the bowl. Well, not quite fill the bowl, but fill the bowl until it says around about 400 to 450 grams. So, if I just put the water in like so... I will then fill it, it usually takes a few seconds, like so. Stick it back on the scales, 250 grams. Okay, I need way more water than that. I'm gonna put it in, put it in, put it in. Back on the scales, 406. Okay, so that'll do for now. I can always add more later if need be. Stick it in the microwave. Even though I don't often do them in the microwave, I know how to do it with expert. Expert skill level? Is that the word? Anyway, I'm gonna stick this in the microwave. One minute at a time, stir. One minute, stir. 30 seconds, 30 seconds, at most, okay? Boom! While that is cooking, I will track my food, okay? So I actually use my fitness pal to track all my macros and everything like that. It's not something I do every day. It's not something I necessarily recommend you do every single day. But if you're trying to figure out what works for you, then my fitness pal can definitely help. So these oats in here are actually from Sainsbury's. I have them saved on the app. I use them all the time. That's been one minute. But anyway, these oats in here are from um, Sainsbury's. I have them logged on my fitness pal. 60 grams worth is 36 grams of carbs, 4.2 fat, and 6.2 protein. So 60 grams right there, save that. So next up is the Impact Whey Protein in the Sticky Toffee Pudding flavor. Um, this I haven't tracked on my fitness pal yet. Like I say, I don't use it every single day, and this is fairly new. So um, what you can do is click on the breakfast tab, because that's what we're having right now. Click on add food, and you see this little barcode in the top right hand corner? Click on that. That will bring up the picture. You can scan your protein. Because it's my protein, it already knows what it is. Now be careful with this. The serving size is 100 grams. We are not having 100 grams. Okay, we're going to have 25 grams. So change it to 1 gram. And then you are having 25 of those 1 grams. Okay? Boom. There's your macros, and there is your breakfast. All in the wrist, people. People waste so much protein, so many oats go spinning over. All you have to do is a flick of the wrist, boom. You stir, and you flick. You stir, and you flick. And then you go for it! That will be washed down with a small glass of OJ. If you are new here, I really like orange juice in the morning. Um, and everyone's going to be like, Oh my god, no, there's so much sugar in the orange juice. What are you doing? You're dieting. You can't do this. Relax. I'm not having the whole carton. I'm just having like 200 milliliters in a glass. Relax, bruh. Also, check out the consistency on this. I have smashed it this morning. Look at that. Look at that. You like thick oats or runny oats? Oats or no oats? Hob or microwave? Let me know. Okay, we are pulling out to Audi Sugarland. Uh, because you got a little toy that's here. Ordered this like a while back. Wow. 
Well, I've just finished the leg session of my freaking life. Um, as you can tell by how I look, it was intense. It was good though. I filmed another video um, and yeah, something slightly different to what I normally would have done. So um, yeah, that should be interesting. Stay tuned for that. But um, that will not be in this video because this is a full day of eating. God, all people want to do is see me stuff my face. So that's what I'm going to do. Actually, I need to walk the dog first. But then it's lunchtime. Good girl. Oh, I need your ball. Where's your ball? Wait for it. Go, go, go! Uh, I was going to bring a banana with me because um, I'm kind of hungry, but it's not quite time to have some proper food yet. But to be honest, I just forgot. <laughs> so I'll have a banana with my lunch. It's all good. It's all good. Sorry, puppy. You want it throwing, don't you? Here you go. Go, go, go. <laughs> Plenty of dog footage coming this week, guys. Plenty of Jesse Pup footage to follow but for now it's lunch time so we have a very luxurious lunch for me really we've got um, a muscle food steak on the basis that um, I had steak for dinner last night there's two in a pack and I'm here on my own and so you know I've got one leftover steak that's open that could do with eating like um, well, yesterday. So I'm gonna have it for lunch with half a packet of rice and probably a few peas. I'm gonna have peas because I can't bother to go to the shop and get anything like fancier. Now the key to a solid steak is all in the preparation, people. So be kind to the steak. Treasure the steak. Be soft. Gentle, loving, and just slather it with a bunch of seasoning because it'll make it taste good, trust me. Flip and repeat. I don't weigh out the seasoning. Um, sometimes I do, but in three grams, which is a teaspoonful, um, there's 10 calories. So, you know, if 10 calories is breaking your diet or 15, you know, well, it, it shouldn't be. <laughs> Turn your pan onto high heat. Leave it for like 30 seconds so that it is piping hot. You want to hear the tss when you put the steak down. Ready? Oh yes, you hear that? You hear that everybody? That is gonna be mighty fine. 30 seconds, flip, repeat, and then turn the heat down. Can you guys cook? Do you enjoy cooking? I put a poll on my Instagram the other day. Oh, by the way, added some fry light, so like, two or three sprays turn two or three sprays that normally does it for me keeps the calories down people don't really think about the extra calories that comes from stuff like butter um, and so yeah just think about it you know buy some fry light it's like two pounds packet rice going in boom two minutes boom because this is a full day of eating and this is purely for entertainment oh the rice is done I want to do something slightly different. I'm only going to have half of this packet of rice. And I'm going to put half of the steak and half a packet of rice in a wrap and make like a steak burrito kind of thing. Yeah! Without all the veg and stuff. Sainsbury's tortilla wraps. Boom. If you really want to, it's a 250 gram bag and you can weigh out 125 grams, but I never do. You can tell when you've had half a bag, like that's just under half a bag, but I'll count it as half a bag. So, it's no biggie. Now tell me that that does not look freaking fantastic. My mouth, oh my lord, wow. Also gonna add a sprinkle of 50% reduced fat cheese. So stick this on the scales over here. What you can do is actually subtract it. So that is, if I put that back on the scales there, is minus nine grams. I will round that up to 10. Just so it's easier for tracking. And now for the steak. I'm 
so excited for this. Oh, he smashed it. He has absolutely smashed it. That perfect colour. That crisp around the outside and that perfect little pink on the inside. Wow, wow, wow. Okay, so I'm going to put this half in the wrap. One, two, three. Oh, it cuts like butter. Check that. Stick this in there like so. And that is lunch served. Oh, yeah. Mmm. Other half of the steak can just go on the plate because like, it tastes really good and I'll just have it on its own. But yeah, that's lunch. Look at that. A couple hours has passed, but it's not quite dinner time yet. So, I'm going to be having one of these to keep me going. Literally tastes like chocolate cake. It's insane. Oh, oh, that's hot. Oh my god, oh my god. So, there was an unexpected change with dinner. Charlotte came over and, well, we basically didn't want what I defrosted for dinner, and so we literally went to Sainsbury's and picked up a microwave meal. But add some chicken and a bit of veg on the side, and you've got a pretty normal-looking meal. It just looks like chicken and pasta with a bit of veg. You just have to pick the right microwave meal, not the one that's super high in fat. I think this one only had... 12, 15 grams at most. Dinner is done and we are finishing off the day. It's like night time now. We're watching season six, episode 10, Power. If you haven't watched Power, go and watch it because we didn't watch it for months and we literally binge watched the entire thing and it was freaking... Not months, years. Yeah, yeah I suppose so. Yeah, years. We haven't watched it for years. <laughs> um, anyway, so we are finishing off uh, today's macros with an Arla protein yogurt strawberry 20 grams of protein in this and what I always do with this is add some my protein um, Flavor drops in the toffee flavor because it pretty much just creates like this desserty proteiny smooth creamy goodness um, Tastes really good and uh, yeah really good macros too So total macros for the day are on the screen right now not the most nutritious in terms of greens and micros, but you know, the convenient meal at the end of the day and stuff shows you that you can still hit your macros when things don't always go to plan. You don't have to worry about it, just have a consistent calorie deficit and you're all good. Still zooming in on my belly! Can I stop now? Let me have my yogurt in peace. Can I stop now? Okay, right, if you have enjoyed the video, please like, comment, share, subscribe. Actually, hang on, I need to show them this. Don't spill it. Don't forget you can use the code LSJ and the link in the description box on any my protein order will save you 35%. Where's my spoon at? Oh, check it. Check it. Just turns it into a smooth. You're gonna spill it. No, I'm not. No, I'm not. I got this. I got <laughs> this. You can use LSJ at checkout and it'll save you 35%. Links in the description box. Did I mention I have a code? LSJ, save you 35%. It's in the description box. We're going to watch Power now. I hope you enjoyed the video. Like, comment, share, subscribe. Let me know what you want to see next. And I'll see you in the next one. Yeah.